thank you. That was actually the great George Strait. We didn't get a chance to say thank you to him, and we should do that. And I will bet you that every nominee is hoping that he has an ace in the hole tonight. Well, mine is being here with you, Kenny, in Nashville. It's no secret that I'm not a native to these parts, but you know that every time I come here, I feel like I really belong. And well, you should. That's because you do belong along here, especially on a night like this when everybody's favorite stars are here. Dolly Parton, Randy Travis, Hank Williams Jr., and all the new stars, too. You're not talking too much, are you? <laughs> Rodney Crowell, Patti Loveless, and lots more who are helping to keep the music fresh and contemporary. This has really been the big year for country. Record sales are at an all-time high, and everywhere you go, there are more radio stations playing nothing but country. So tonight's awards are more important than ever. That's right. So let's get right on with the first one. And here are two ladies who are five-time CMA award winners and just about the prettiest and most talented mother and daughter in the whole wide world. Ladies and gentlemen, the Judds. As a Canadian, I've been trying to convince people for years that to sing a country song, you don't have to come from the backwoods of Tennessee or the Texas Panhandle. Of course, not everybody believes me, but then every now and then, somebody comes along to help me prove my point, like our next two presenters. He's from the backwoods of New Jersey, and she grew up in the vast panhandle known as Connecticut. And they're one of the hottest new acts in country music. Kathy and Michael of Bailey and the Boys. One big hit after another, and he's won all the awards in the book. And that's great, but what's even greater is that he's still a very modest and shy country boy. Let me show you what happened to last year to this shy country boy. When Hank Williams Jr. was 16 years old, he wrote his first song. It was called Standing in the Shadows. It was all about coming to terms with being the son of a country music legend. Well, it's still a great song, but today Hank Jr. stands in nobody's shadow. In 1987 and 1988, he was named CMA Entertainer of the Year, and he's nominated for that award again tonight. As far as legends are concerned, history seems to be repeating itself. Here again is Hank Williams Jr. For years, people have been asking me whether I'm a country singer or a pop singer, and I never thought you had to be one or the other, because I like to sing them both, but I learned very early that there's a reason for these labels. They need to find a place to put you in the record stores. <laughs> well, I think that's changing a little bit because today a lot of performers are stretching the boundaries and going in all kinds of new directions. In fact, now when singers who don't ordinarily work together decide to try it, Everybody says, go for it. Last year, the CMA recognized that trend and created a brand new award, the Vocal Event of the Year. To present the 1989 award, here's a man who was a pop star before he became a successful country star, and a preacher's daughter who got her singing career off to a great start by winning the Horizon Award, Billy Joel Royal and Holly Dunn. Good songs keep getting written, and we singers keep singing them. But if the disc jockeys didn't play the records, we'd all have to find some other line of work. Whether you live in a big city or a small town, you know that country radio is everywhere. And we're grateful to all the disc jockeys who keep it in the forefront of American music. October is Country Music Month, and I'd like to announce the gentlemen who were voted the top country disc jockeys of the year. For major markets, the winner is Charlie Morgan, WFMS, Indianapolis, Indiana. For medium markets, it's Bill Dollar, WSOC, Charlotte, North Carolina. And for small markets, the winner is Dr. Sam Falk, WLWI, Montgomery, Alabama. Congratulations, gentlemen, and thank you from all of us. I've known Rodney Crowell since the early 70s when he was trying to get started in this business. He came to Toronto with a suitcase full of original tunes and 
spend his time making demos with my band. So I wasn't surprised when he became a successful songwriter and producer. Now he's even more successful as a recording star. Five songs on his latest album have become consecutive number one records. Uh, I always knew you were terrific, Rodney, but that's just plain showing off. Tonight he's nominated for four CMA awards, and right now you're going to see why. Accompanied by Country Music Hall of Fame member Chet Atkins, here's Rodney Crowell.